Revisiting our top story, Minnesota and New Mexico State, Jerry Kill had a seizure late in this game, currently hospitalized in stable condition. Let's show you how the game went. Marquis Gray, Tejan McKnight, what a catch. First and goal for the Gophers. McKnight, nine receptions for 146 yards and a touchdown, but Gray is picked off by Boy Blue Alua and the Gophers blow a golden opportunity there. And on the ensuing drive, on a first and 10 from the 41, Andrew Manley to Tavion Rogers, 41-yard connection. Second time they had hooked up on the day. And New Mexico State up 14 to seven. Manley threw for 288. Now it's Gray trying to answer Colin McGarry. Gophers end the half on a high note. They go into the locker room down just seven. To the third quarter, there's Troy Stoudemire trying to become the all-time leader in kickoff return yardage in the Big Ten. This starts somewhat poorly, but ends 22 yards later with Stoudemire holding the record. So congratulations to him. Less than a minute to go in the quarter on a second and 12. It is Manly Kim Royston coming up with the big play. But he is called for pass interference. A little bump right there. So that gives New Mexico State new life, and they take advantage. Robert Clay, who ran for 97, gets two of them there, and the Aggies go up by two scores. Go first, cut it to 28-21. Manley. Picked off by Brock Vereen, so it's go for ball. Now on the ensuing drive, on a third and goal, it is Gray. Gray diving for the end zone. Does he get in? They say yes. And then, well, and then they say no. Out of bounds there at the two. So now on a fourth and goal from the one, Lamonte Edwards. They turn it over on downs, and it was a few moments later that Kill had his seizure. You see the players obviously very troubled. Kill, as we said, hospitalized tonight in stable condition. He does have a history of seizures. His team actually had to go out and play another play, and Marquise Gray trying to make something happen, unable to do so as New Mexico State hangs on and hands the Gophers their second loss of the year.